the US Embassy has recently issued this notice to all the students who have been waiting for months to hear about the appointments. Let's talk about this notice here. And this is for, by the way, student visas. So F1, F2, J1, J2, M1, M2, all of you guys should be listening closely. First, I wanna summarize this notice for you. Whether you have read it or not, this is what it specifically states. Most appointments for the visas will be available in June or July. Some appointments are available in November to December. For all other months, expect minor openings only with very limited slots. If you're targeting summer, well, they don't explicitly state summer, but they mean it, then in that case, you can defer to fall instead of raising an emergency appointment. And by the way, emergency appointments are only for exceptions and emergency appointments are not available to refuse students. Now, this is all what the notice states. This is not what I am telling you. I am a reporter till this point of the video. I'm telling you what the notice states straight away. Now, let's talk about the reality. That's, this is my opinion that I'm telling you now, guys. In all the five years that I have been doing this, I have seen this happen over and over and over again. And what I can tell you is that most of the things on this notice are true. Yes, that's correct. Most are true, but not everything is as it seems. Let's talk about the reality for a second. If you look at the current situation of slots, right now you would see that 2026 openings show when you just randomly log in at any time, you just check your account, you will see usually these 2026 slots. However, what the embassy has really tried to shift focus from is that you can actually get appointments in minor openings as well. And that can happen even during, let's say the month of April, May, you know, it doesn't have to be June, July only. And secondly, June or July, and this is an important part, June or July this time is going to be extremely busy. Let me tell you why. In most cases, what I have seen until the last portal was active, before July 2023, what was happening was appointments used to open, not just in June, July, they used to open in January, February, March, April, May. I showed you guys in a video, I showed you exact dates of openings last year, last year, last year, and last year, last year, last year as well. We've done all of that. So what my point is, is that June, July, let's say a opening happens and there's only gonna be probably one opening over here. Now this opening might last max to max, if you're lucky, 15 minutes. Now why is that? The reason is so many students have been waiting for almost one year at this point to get appointments. November, December was very limited this year. They almost didn't even open it up. So they've been waiting for almost one year. So many students will be trying to get them. Servers will crash. I know for a fact the website won't be able to handle it. This one opening that's gonna happen, you have this one chance and this 15 minute chance could happen when you are driving, when you are busy at work, you're busy in school, you're taking a test, you're writing an exam, you could be doing anything. You could be having diarrhea for all I care, but you might miss this opening for those 15 minutes. So my advice over here is to not disregard the limited availability of appointments that they, they, they are calling essentially over here minor openings, right? We're, we're talking about those. Don't disregard those. And this is the proof for that. Take a look at this one slot. We were actually doing some testing of one of our new systems we built, one of our new algorithms we built. You can see that this is my laptop screen. If you w watch over to the top right, there's my photo as well. There's a timestamp as well. 8th of April in the evening, we were doing this testing. We saw one slot open up, one slot, and then we booked it through our systems. And then here's the output that this slot has been booked by us. So you can see slots, very limited slots, just one random slot opened up, we got it. It happens that you have to monitor 24 seven and you can get it. This limited availability of appointments, it's not zero, understand that. So my friends, my advice to you is, yes, June, July may be the time when most appointments occur, but don't just leave your process just because of this news update, this important notice that you see. Don't stop monitoring, monitor 24 seven, it's important and defer only if you do not get the appointments. Only then, don't just go ahead, ask for deferrals if you know June, July has not come yet and you know maybe your program is starting on 10th of June. Don't just defer, try first. Maybe you get it, maybe you're the lucky one, right? And if you don't get it, then you talk about deferring to your university to fall. One thing that's important for you to know is that we have been working with thousands of people and I wanna give this to you that emergency appointments this year are being rejected whatsoever so save them up don't waste them by applying right now it's not working out uh, only just maybe two weeks before your program start date you can try two three weeks before but generally they are being rejected follow me on instagram i keep on updating you whenever the slots open up especially during major openings i'll update you those 15 minutes i know th those are important 
I'll update you. And finally, make sure that if you're interested and you need help, you can take a look at the Visa Application Help where we've helped 20,000 plus cases in the last five years itself. And we'd be happy to have you as one of those. If you like this video, share this with people who need to know. And I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye and take care.